N to the O to the E to the Moish. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, never play yourself, take yourself. Hola a todos, ¿qué tal? I'm Sierra Lafe, and I've gotten a lot of questions regarding my braids, and I really appreciate you guys for all the love about them because I was very self conscious about them because I did it myself, didn't really know what I was doing. But you guys seem to really love them. And because of all these questions that I've gotten per request from a subscriber, I am going to do a braid QA answering um, the most common questions that I've gotten. And if you still have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Pero vamos a empezar. All right, so a couple of these questions I actually already answered, but I'm going to answer them again just for people who come in as new subscribers. And just FYI, I do have heat trained hair. One of the first questions that I got was How did you get your edges sleek without it reverting? Alright, so what I use is the Got To Be Gel, just the basic yellow bottle. I actually got it here in Barcelona and it was $4.95 and I initially bought it because I had a wig and I thought it would help me to lay down my wig, but it did not do that. But I found it to be very good edge control. Don't use it every day. Um, it's very drying to the hair, but I try to use it no more than three times a week. So what I first do is wet my edges and then I just go ahead and put a pea size amount for each side of my hair, so two pea size. And then I just just kind of brush it. Like I don't really have edges like that. My edges are actually super long, so I don't really have big hairs, but that's what I do. And then I go ahead and tie a scarf around my head and while I'm doing my makeup, I just let the scarf kind of help let my edges sit in place and then after about 15-20 minutes of me doing my makeup I take the scarf off and then my edges are pretty much good for the day. So the next question is how long do you normally keep your braids in before your next heat pass? So I don't usually wear braids. I usually have a sew-in but I just wasn't able to get a sew-in done here so I like to just take a complete break from the heat during the summer because my hair won't stay straight so I guess an average of three months after a protective style, I will go ahead and do the heat pad. So October, I plan to straighten my hair because it won't be as humid. Next question, how long does it take for you to do your braids? So I usually spend an average between three to four hours. This, I spent a little bit more time because I ended up getting the hair a lot longer by accident. So the hair goes all the way down to my butt. I don't know how many braids I usually have in. <coughs> <coughs> Lord Jesus. I usually have an average of 14 to 16 braids per section and I divide my section my hair into four sections. So next question, how long do you keep your braids in for? I usually only keep them in for a week and a half, two weeks at the longest and by the end of the first week I will just go ahead and redo the front braids just so that it doesn't look too much of a mess because when I sleep, I don't put a scarf because the scarf just always falls off. I don't wear a bonnet because the hair is too thick to fit in the bonnet. So yeah, that's why my hair doesn't last but one week at a time really because I just don't really sleep with it properly. Next question, what products and hair do you use? All right, so I'll insert a picture of the hair that I use. I love it because it is pre-stretched and it is very easy to manage. It does not tangle up at all. And it's also pre-treated so that way it doesn't cause breakouts. While I am doing each section, I use the Mazzani Rose H2O Cream. I will insert a picture of the Carol's Daughter hair, mimosa, honey, something like that. I forget the name. But I use that to help soothe the itch. However, I do not do my braids tight because I don't even know how to get them close to the root. So because of that, my hair really doesn't hurt or have intense itching whenever I do my braids, which is pretty nice. All right, so these are pretty much the questions that I've gotten. I will leave a video of how I do my box braids in addition to hairstyles that I put my hair in in the description box below. And until the next video, assalamu alaikum.